Hi everyone, by now I've made a few videos which capture pretty much everything you need to know for entering data in SPSS but here's a question I get asked quite often by you guys on YouTube uh, how do you code data uh, when you've got open response questions? Well, everything you need to know are already in my set of videos, it's just knowing where to look Let's look at an example. So suppose we've got this question. What's the most important quality you look for in a partner? And I've left a blank, so this is where the respondent can just write anything down. Well, why would I want to have an open response question? I'd have an open response question if I have pretty much no idea of what people out there are likely to write or I might have an idea but I don't know the breadth of kind of responses they might have okay so that's why I might then have an open response question if I knew the types of responses I'd be getting most of the time I could have check boxes instead because that way it's much easier well there are pretty much two ways to go about this one since we don't know kind of the breadth of responses well, we can gauge it by running a pilot study to help us to construct a list of responses uh, with checkboxes. So say for the question I've given you, I, I, I don't really know what people, or I do, but I don't know kind of the variety of questions, uh, answers I'm going to get. So say um, I kind of run a small pilot study. So I might interview like 20, 30 people. Based on those 20 or 30 responses, um, I get an idea of the kind of common responses and then I can do checkboxes. So imagine these are all checkboxes. So good looks, kind, uh, has a sense of humor, intelligent, rich, or and then I get a few crazy ones which are very few. Um, so I just gather everything in other. Okay. Now if you're not sure about in the real thing whether uh, you've missed anything in other I, there could be something missed out by your people in the pilot study you might write if 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 other uh, write it down okay so if other uh, so what what is it write it down just in case that there are a lot of responses that are repeated and then you want to kind of code that up uh, in a separate category for example suppose in my pilot study I didn't pick up um, brave and brave turned out to be another kind of thing that people looked for quite a lot of them then I wouldn't want brave in other category I'd want it in its own category if you see what I mean okay the other thing I can do is just run the full survey so interview just run just run my just run you know just hand out all my questionnaires and gather all the data and then I will just code up all the main ones and then all the unusual answers I can group them up into other so that's just another way of going about just another way about getting getting this kind of list alright so that's it really it's not really an SPSS uh, question it's uh, any software you use right but so since I'm talking to you as an SPSS person um, this is kind of what you'd want to do and then the coding I've shown you already uh, on the previous videos um, like what's the first one I made data entry uh, for questionnaires I look at that one the other one you might you want might to look at is this one if I change this question to what's the most if I change it to you might want to do this if I change it to instead of what's the most list the three most or X amount of most, then what do you do now? Well, this is an example of multiple response question, and I've made a video on that, so you want to look at that multiple response question. Others of you keep asking me the question, what well, about if I, you have questions within questions? That is also in my video, multiple response question. Okay. All right, so I know it's a busy time for you. It's uh, Easter time and a lot of you are doing projects. So, um, well, good luck with that.